Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Are you alright? Baby, I'm good. See you. Good. good. He's very sound, though. Oh, wow. Well played. I won't pick it up. Who do you think it looks like? What? I mean, you no, see the chicken. Probably. Too. I think, I think no, it makes you both of you, but I don't know, like. Oh, mate, sorry. Oh, you look. We're going back to the spoof in the news agent. No, 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 I want my change. I'm crushing it in the gym. Speak to Tony about it. I'm just intense. Does my baby look like me? I'm not really. What? Are you joking? Are you joking? I'm crushing it in the gym. Ed, great fight for him at Fight Camp. Brilliant fight. I mean, it's one that we've looked at for a while. Um, Granados has mixed it, you know, top, top level. That's why he's got a couple of defeats on his record. But it's a great fight. It's a fan-friendly fight. And it's the kind of fight I feel like he needs. You know, we, we wanted to do rounds against Vargas. He didn't get the chance to do that because he went in there and demolished him. So for me, this is another fight where I expect, I think Granados is more dangerous than Vargas because I think he throws more. I think he's technically better and I think he punches a bit harder as well. So, but we keep talking about, you know, Sean Porter and these kind of guys. I still want these kind of, you know, Vargas is Granados, you know, whether it's Devon Alexander, Van Heerd and these kind of guys that are going to get him ready for the likes of Sean Porter because you can't just go and blow people away in a round and then take a massive step up and necessarily be ready. So we've built out a great plan with Connor and Tony and Charlie and everybody to say, you know, we've got a five fight plan now that really should take us to a world title. That's the way that I'm looking at it. I want him to box three times this year, um, hopefully one of those in America, but more importantly, it's just about July 31st. He's the guy to kick this all off. You know, we know didn't want to give him too big a head when we we're negotiating the deal, but the numbers that he's doing or was doing on Sky, you know, numbers he does. Is he crushing it? Yeah. He's, he's crushing it. He's crushing it in the gym. He's the first one there. He's the last one to leave. Ask Tony about it. <laughs> that's good. That that's sticking. Good. I've got to do that after reading you now. Uh, Granados. Yeah, you've got to remember each fight is they're always going to present some sort of struggle at his level. Formella was supposed to be yeah, he can box and he's half tricky. And I've done what I had to do. Vargas was, you know, come forward, gonna present a tough match work with his experience. Didn't work. And Granados is gonna be exactly the same thing. I keep telling everyone I won't be surprised if I knock Vargas out in one round. I'll be surprised if this goes past six. Confident talk. Yeah, and actually yeah. it's a good story with Granados because he's been asking me for an opportunity for a while. I offered him the Connor Ben fight, he came back, he accepted it, and he, he kinda said to me, look, I know now. You know, once I was a prospect with the PBC and they were giving me opportunities. Now I've got to take risks myself. The one thing he said to me was, this is the first time I've ever left the country, right? Ever left America. So, you know, I want to thank you for the opportunity. I'm coming here to win. So he's going to come here. This is really his last chance to lose at the big time. Really nice, yeah. Bringing, over, bringing him over and he's going to get filled in. Come on, that's not really, that's not really nice of you, is it? <laughs> I'd say this is a tough fight. Let me tell you, you're crushing it in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop um, you. Obviously, you've been out in Las Vegas. Um, well, kind of camp. We saw you in the gym every single well, day out there. Well, we wanted to. We've done some spying out there. It was originally supposed to be spying you guys, who's WBA champion. Um, and I speak with you guys. It's probably you know time and time again. Uh, we're supposed to be spying with, with him, but couldn't get arranged, so we spied Gamboa. And that's. Uh, there's been two stages of my career where when I spied Kel Brook. And this was another one where I saw a gauge the level where I'm at. We were supposed to do six and more, according to Salah. So, and you know, it didn't, it, it didn't go past four. So, I mean, and Gamboa is a fighter that, you know, he's achieved everything I want to achieve in this sport. He's up there skillfully. You know, he's one of them Cubans who are unbelievable. So, it really... Poor old Gamboa, and he went in for a little move around. <laughs> <laughs> but good experience for him to go out the there whole, to the Las Vegas. Yeah. And this is a big part of this deal as well, not just going over and fighting internationally, but being part of that global schedule where you can go out there, experience the training, experience the trip, do a little bit of media, and just learn, be around fights, because sooner or later, he's gonna be headlining in Vegas. So when you've been there and you've experienced that before, he's already boxed in New York, we'd like him to box again in America this year, we'll see how it goes, but he's also a big star here, and you know, Dazona looking at him as one of the key figures now of this movement, not just in the UK, but globally as well. Mm. A pleasure signing with Dazona as well. So, did you ask him to say that? No, well, he's, no, it's a pleasure sound. <laughs> so I'm no, in the platform. I mean, probably that. I don't know whether you got that one or that one last yeah, week. Yeah. Or I don't know. You know no. um, but, but you know, it's it's look, one of the reasons we made this move is because people like Connor Ben and people like I won't mention his name, but his lawyer over there. I don't know if you wanted a name check and Tony. Just, <laughs> everyone's pushing for more money. Yeah, it's not. You know, it's what they want. And if it's not there, it's not there now. And I don't mind saying it. It is there. So this enables them to go. He knows the deal. He's got. Yeah, it's a fantastic deal. Massive show, show me the bag. 
Show me that. There's own yeah, money, as they say. I know, but that's that's really. We're under pressure all the time from trainers and managers and lawyers. We want more money. We want more money. I mean, but am I worth it? Though? You are worth it, and that's why you got it. See, there we go. There we go. Yeah. I know you probably don't want to talk about this, but. We do need to address. It don't, it don't no, matter. we need to know, ask about say, about the relevant. altercation with uh, Marku. Yeah, yeah, it's silly. Like, actually, it's silly. Like, I don't even know why I said hello. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just silly. I ain't even got to talk about it because at the end of the day, why not bring, bring up Ryan Chan's name to me? Why not bring? Might as well bring up Logan Paul's name to me because he does good numbers. Don't mean he's any good. Eddie? Drop the mic. Florian Marku. Yeah, I said. I said to both. I said to Florian earlier. He's got a real fight against Granados. Actually, Florian's got a real fight as well against Prodan. You know, Italian star, he's 19 and 0. Worry about that. You know, at, at a time when both guys are up there in the world rankings and this is a fight that can set out the O2, which it is, I don't rule it out in the future, but irrelevant now because they've both got fights to take care of. But I don't rule out Ben against Marco. I think it's a big fight. But when, you know, he's looking at. You don't want to hear that, though. That's just the truth. You don't have to fight him. He'll fight anyone. He fight Marco, yeah. but sooner or later that fight's going to could become so big that it's a fight to consider. But for now, he's on his own path, and we've got, like I said, that five fight plan to win a title. Okay, we're going to continue with the party. It's not a party, mate. Have you seen any alcohol? Yes. Have you? Yes. What did you smuggle it in? Is there some floating about? Yes. The grub's unbelievable, yeah. by the way. Uh, what have you had? Shout out to Hardy Yard Pizza. Mexican and also over, the Mexican there. over there. What we're going to do uh, for fight camp with the live crowds is we're actually going to have this kind of experience. So we're going to have a pizza station, Mexican station, barbecue, a cocktail station, beer tent, champagne tent. It's the golden it. ticket, Let's baby. Have it. Let's yeah. have it. I think for 10 grand a ticket, I think it's great value. Oh. That was a joke, by the way. I, know. I left that it's in. It's only five grand a ticket. 